Five things I wish my computer science degree taught me. Number one, use a code linter. Code linters perform <clears throat> static code analysis. Basically, it looks at your code and tells you it's shit. Here's an example. I have a method that takes in a list and returns a new filtered list. In the top right hand corner, you can see Sonar Lint installed, and it has highlighted my crappy code in bright yellow. Hover over and it will tell you the problem and give a long, boring explanation as to why. Implement the changes and you're good to go. Once I started using a code linter, the quality of my code rose dramatically and my boss gave me a gold star. Number two, get pull before you push, get pull before you push, get pull before you push. In university, you typically work on a team of one, and when you are assigned a team, they are about as useful as a screen door on a submarine. In real life, you'll be working with a team that is constantly pushing and merging code. Before you do a git push, you should always do a git pull, ensuring your project is up to date. If you don't, you'll deal with nasty merge conflicts, and since you're a junior developer, you'll have no idea how to solve them. So git pull early and often, and make sure you git pull before you push. Number three, we have different environments for testing and production. This may seem obvious, but back in university, they didn't trust us with any real work. In real life, software must be tested, validated, tested again, updated, and tested again. My job had a production environment, a development environment, a testing environment, an automated testing environment, a formal testing environment, a manual testing environment, another manual testing environment, and a performance testing environment. Deploying to actual production is a highly regulated process and code monkeys like me aren't allowed to touch the big red button. It just goes to show how important it is to get it right and how many people need to give input before a release. Number four, each method should be at the same level of abstraction and easily understandable. Here's an example of bad code. Our method name is getValidUsers, which is a high level of abstraction. But then we jump into low-level string validation and I don't know why. What is this line of code trying to do? Here's a better example. I extracted the string manipulation out into another method call and gave it a clear name. Is password valid, which tells my coworkers its reason for existing. When you're fresh out of university, you're just happy to get your code working. But after years of reading other people's cryptic code, you start to spend more time making it clear and understandable. Number five, private constructors. For years, I was coding like this. I would have a utility class that has one job, sort an array. I would have a public constructor and call it like this, new sort users utility dot sort. This works, but senior developers hate it. As my boss says, it's just wrong. Since we aren't passing anything into the constructor and there are no member variables, there is no need for an instance of the object. Change your constructor to private and your method to static. Then remove the new keyword and parentheses. Congratulations, you just saved yourself six characters in an ass whooping on Stack Overflow. Remember, university doesn't teach you everything you need to know to be a successful programmer, instead opting to fill your mind with their woke agenda. This is Peach's Programming, now please go touch some grass.